I'm so glad that we could join each other again. Today I'm going to do a comparison of the Speedy, the Speedy 25 and the Speedy 25 Bandolier. If you've never joined me before, my name is Jennifer. I'd love it if you subscribe and always hit that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded my next video. Louis Vuitton's one of my favorite fashion houses and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite bags from that company which is the Speedy. The Speedy was invented in 1930 during the era, era where they invented railroad travel. So Louis Vuitton had made it very convenient to travel with flat boxes, which you'll see all the luggage boxes in that era that could be flat and stackable, waterproof. And the production has not changed much since then. It continues to be lightweight, durable, and extremely iconic. Speedy is one of the iconic bags. It comes in all sorts of sizes. The everyday sizes are usually the 25, 30, and 35. Today we're just going to talk about the 25. Last year I did a what's in my bag on the Speedy 25 and the bandolier, which means it has a strap. And this year I can do a comparison of the Speedy in the 25 with the Speedy 25 bandolier. So let's get started. The way I'm going to divide this up is we'll talk about how they carry, the difference in price, in US prices currently, and of course my favorite which is the history and the dimensions of the back. And the last thing we'll do is some modeling shots so you can see my frame is five foot, five and a half inches so you can see how a Speedy 25 bandolier or Speedy 25 and a Speedy 25 bandolier look on my body as I carry. So let's get started. Speedy was invented in 1930. It's lightweight, durable, because this is completely just PVC coated canvas. That's how it's soft, lightweight, durable, waterproof, and fireproof. The leather parts of the bag are the rolled leather handles. So the Speedy 25 can only be held two ways, in your hand or on your forearm. Now caution if you're swollen that month or you can't fit your arm. This is a rather small opening so not everyone can fit their arm through there. So always try them on just to be sure. The Speedy B, which is Speedy Bandolier, means that they added the strap on which adds that extra and that extra to hold the brass hardware. Everything else stays the same. All the leather parts are vachetta. And again, it's PVC coated canvas. And you have two extra ways to carry the Speedy B and the 25. Not only do you have handles rolled, which are super comfortable, hopefully on your forearm. If not, you can always carry it still stylishly in your arm. And you have the strap, which could be shortened to the just the two pieces, which would be shoulder. Or you can lengthen with the middle piece. Let me show you how easy that is. It always comes with three pieces. This is that middle extra piece. And I tend to always put them on the shortest length. This Vachetta leather is so soft. Both of these bags are from the same year, which is pretty cool because I'm going to show you that the canvas does differ from year to year. And these two have the exact same sheen. And so now you have the center strap so it can be cross body. So the Speedy B has four ways to carry and the Speedy only has two ways to carry. The next thing we're going to cover is the price. What are the differences? Currently in May of 2020, the US dollar, the price in US dollars for the Speedy 25 is 1,140 US dollars. The price in the US this month of May of 2020 is $1,610, which is a price difference of $470 to have the extra convenience of the two extra carries. So you may be thinking, I'm totally gonna go for the Speedy B, two extra ways to carry. But I would like to have you think about the history, which brings us to the next point. How did the Speedy 25 come out? It wasn't the very first size. You'd think they'd make the smallest all the way up to the biggest, but they didn't. Back when Audrey Hepburn made the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, it was such a big success that she was able to ask 
Mr. Louis Vuitton himself to make a speedy in a smaller size because at the time they just had the size 30, 35, and 40. And I got all this information from Begista, which is such a cool place just for some fun information. So he did. He made this speedy 25 just for Audrey Hepburn. I'll insert a picture of her right there sitting with her Louis Vuitton speedy 25 bag. So if you're thinking, I really like the convenience of the two, go for it. But if you're just a history nut and you want the legend and the history and it's her birthday month, go ahead and go with the original classic Speedy 25. Pretty cool, huh? So I don't know if this is currently out of stock online because it's her birthday month, but Audrey Hepburn's birthday is May the 4th and maybe everybody just wanted to celebrate and honor her birthday by buying a Speedy 25, but the Speedy 25 and Monogram is out of stock currently online. Both of these are pre-loved bags. I got this one off a of fashion file from the year 2011, and I have absolutely used her to pieces. This one came from a wonderful seller on eBay. Her seller name is LGA Mechanic. It's not like she's got a ton of things to sell, but she happened to have her on sale, both from the same year of 2011. So I want you to notice something very interesting. With the Chanel bags, I know that their calfskin, or I know that their lambskin can differ year by year, depending on hydration of the animals and the weather and the nutrition for that year. Same with the canvases. I'm not sure, and I'm not gonna talk about the leather, I don't even know why I brought that up, but the canvases do differ year by year. Both of these were made in 2011. And look at the color of the LV, the monograms. They're kind of like a yellowy color. This wallet, which is the Clements wallet, super useful from Louis Vuitton. This was made in 2018. And look at the color of the monogram. It's not as yellow. See the difference? So the canvases do differ. Yeah, you can really tell that the Speedy in the year 2011 had more yellowy monograms than 2018. And the sheen is even different on the canvas on the Clements wallet. Let me bring up the Speedy bandolier. Interesting, isn't it? So this has more of a matte sheen and this has more of a that oily sheen that I love. The dimensions of the Classic Speedy are 9.84 inches in length, 7.48 inches in height, and 5.91 inches in width. The same exact dimensions on their website, Louis Vuitton, for the Speedy Bandolier in 25. Um, in my Comparison of what fits through the opening, obviously the opening does change from the Speedy Classic to the Speedy Bandolier because of the fact, if you remember in my video, that I noticed that because there's a attachment for both zippers on the bandolier, you'll lose some of the opening width, whereas on the Classic Speedy there's only one zipper, so that leaves a little bit bigger of an opening for you to get things in and out of. The Classic Speedy opening is 9.1 inches, and the opening for the Speedy 25 bandolier is 8.1 inches, so that's a one inch difference, which that's what we noted last time with the openings of the Speedy 30s as well. So whether you have a Speedy 25 to Speedy 25 bandolier comparison or a Speedy 30 to a Speedy 30 bandolier comparison, the openings differ by an inch because of the bandolier having to have two zippers. So that takes up some of that room on the side. So that might make a difference with the ease of things you can get in and out of that bag.
I enjoy using both so much. So comment below what, you, what other differences you've noticed. I'm hoping this is helpful and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me.